Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Michelle badly humiliated right after declaring she's forever first lady. It's been a year since America's most arrogant duo has been out of the White House and they still can't seem to give up the power and spotlight, especially since it means relinquishing it to the Trumps. You would think that by now, they would accept what is. But no, they still believe their former titles belong to them and will forever. This is based on believing that they did more for America than anyone else has and anyone else will. The only thing the Obamas love more than Americans' money, is themselves and having all attention and appreciation while listening to themselves talk. Michelle's platform as a first lady was a notable failure, marked by the fact that her lunch and fitness programs were ineffective, expensive, and no longer in existence. The pride of seeing your work and passion live on for years is a legacy most first ladies have left, but not Michelle. She doesn't see her legacy as a failure and perhaps hopes the country has forgotten. This was evident as she introduced herself with a nauseating new title as America's Forever First Lady. When Michelle isn't traveling the globe, she's giving speeches in universities, conferences, and other events. She's enticed by the huge check people are somehow willing to pay her, only to talk about herself and promote her personal wisdom on others who she believes wish they could be her. With a captive audience that she thought was there to gush over her, proud to be in her presence, Michelle did her arrogant act and it immediately backfired. Former First Lady Michelle Obama said she's America's forever First Lady at a college signing day event in Philadelphia on Wednesday. If I can be standing here as your forever First Lady, Obama said smiling, then you can do anything you put your mind to. Obama made an appearance at Temple University in front of thousands of high school seniors to celebrate their decision to pursue higher education. Obama's comments about being the nation's forever First Lady drew massive applause from the audience. She later referred to herself as the former First Lady. During her speech, Obama urged students to keep pursuing their education dreams, despite setbacks and struggles. Remember this moment when you're out there. When you hit those roadblocks, she said. Michelle may tout her degrees and hey, we'll give her credit for scholastic accomplishment, but that education didn't teach her common sense, class, or respect. While in office with her husband, she helped drive the nation into a deep racial divide under the guise that she was trying to eliminate racism. If that was truly her intention, it was as failed an endeavor as her school nutrition imposition. Conservative actor James Woods caught word of Michelle's self-assigned title and never one to hold back, he unleashed a verbal beast on her. I love my freedom reports. Woods, who often uses his massive Twitter account to fire back at liberals, promptly scolded Obama. With all due respect you aren't our forever first lady. No one is, nor should anyone be. Pump your brakes a tad, Wood wrote on Wednesday. Wood's comments were in reference to Obama speaking at a college signing day event in Philadelphia on Wednesday. Here's what she said. We have such high hopes for you. See, I am not one of those doubters. I know that you have everything it takes to succeed. I know you are me, and if I can be standing here as your forever first lady, then you can do anything you put your mind to. You can see and hear the nauseating self-obsessed fest here. It's hard to imagine that her comments weren't directly aimed at the current administration, particularly First Lady Melania Trump. Woods is absolutely spot on with his statement. Obama was the First Lady for eight years, and her time has been up. Perhaps she could be the forever First Lady if she actually accomplished something when she had the chance. On the other hand, Trump is a very smart, classy, and highly respected woman, and has proven that time and time again. Obama can dream all she wants, but she is not the first lady nor will she ever be as classy as Trump. If anyone should be our forever first lady, it's Melania. But she'd never assume that title and would want to take the honor away from those who came before and after her. She's here for a time to do a job she's focused on doing well. Her legacy she leaves isn't in what she says, it's in what she does and the difference she makes in America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.